Hello, and welcome to the fourth episode of this series. I'm sorry it took a little while to get to this video, because I did run out of lava the last time I was planning on recording. It took me about an hour to move the pump. Just to say, it was probably the best amount of time. That pump. Half of it had to do with I had to go grab a bucket of lava three times to get the AE system online. I couldn't figure out why it wasn't taking one bucket and starting it up like it usually would. And I finally realized I just did a whole bunch of ME work. So now it takes much more power. So I disconnected the line to downstairs for the AE, and that drastically changes how much energy is required. To the point where I can run my nuclear re reactor and power that. Speaking of nuclear reactor, we actually have some uranium. Uranium ore, of course. So I'm going to compress that down. Into uranium ingots. That I will then grind up. And use its dust in a centrifuge. To get myself small little tiny little pile of plutonium and a whole bunch of uranium and thorium. That thorium comes in really handly, handy when it comes to the matter fab since it can be used for a long time. And I'll probably check on how this stone is doing. It's definitely decreasing. And what was I going to show you? Oh yes, the bees. I haven't done any bee breeding, but I like to get the bees started again since it's been a while since I've done any bee breeding. I'd really like to get back to that. And I need to get frames. This little journey is taking us everywhere. String. And we just get rid of the R and the I, get our sticks, need 24 of them, which we then throw in the crafting grid. So actually, I think I might program this into the AE system. I use this recipe a lot. So I'll type in ME. Craft one of these. It crafts almost instantaneously. Run downstairs to where we're going to encode this. And then encode. And we now no longer need to do that recipe outside of the AE system. I can just type it in, 
frame. Specify how much I want. And then it manufactures that for me. Let's take a look at Do You Matter, though. We have 26 of it. Is there an issue with the scrap box production? Must have made that 2000 I pulled it to. Scrap. And I keep forgetting I could just type it in. I'm going to go with another zero in this one. Now 250,000. Did I grab that UU matter? Yes, I did. So I will look for rubies. Raft up. Oh, if we take seven, I've got 20... Six, I, I get three. Oh, and this is times two, so it'd be six. U, U. Is this not doing it? Or does this no longer remember how to do it? This is very weird. Or am I getting some weird lag effect here? Um, not exactly what to think about this. Oh, sir. Or did I fill up all of my drives just randomly? That could be why. It has happened before, and it doesn't appear to be the issue. Alright, I'm not going to concern myself about that. Get back to that in another episode. What we're doing today, though, however, is we are going to finish putting these things on, that sucks out of it, and put in the inserter things. So let's just hope our AE system cooperates. Apparently now it did it. I'm not quite sure what just happened there. It's comforting to know that it didn't go offline. Did I never do the frames? Apparently I didn't. So when I go run upstairs, I'll throw the rubies in the grinder thing. I'm not exactly sure how to say it correctly. So I'll just call it the grinder thing. Marcerator, I believe it is. Macerator. I'll just call it a grinder. Or processor. Put the frames into our apiary over here. The bees will breed up, then send out their little bees everywhere to make these flowers. Ouch. I hope by next episode we can smelt tungsten. I hope we can. As that'd be very, very nice if we could smelt tungsten. 
if you're only one chrome away from it. And how is you, you matter doing? And we can make another. So I guess we will be doing that today. And we will not be working on the AE today, but rather we will be working on Blast Furnace. Or if we have any spare time, we'll probably go work on the AE. So I'll let that grind up. And then, while that's grinding, I will probably go empty that centrifuge downstairs. Because if you have a system like this, like this to get your lava, I highly recommend you get one of these if you want the fusion reactor. It can definitely decrease the amount of time it will take you to get that reactor, especially if you have a server that runs 24-7. But if it's a single player world, unless you play on it a lot, I would say you probably want to go with mining. But with me being on a server, and much more my own personal server, so I'm ensured that it's always going 24-7, unless, of course, my computer has some random issue in the middle of the night, I can really effectively use the centrifuge to centrifuge down that lava. And you get all these wonderful add-on things like tin, which can be used for all those cells that you're going to need for the fuel assembly, and tungsten, which is very useful in this game, but very hard to smelt. As from what I've heard, it takes a really long time to smelt down. So hopefully, I should have all of it smelted down by next episode. Or no, actually... With how I visit this world, I'll probably have it halfway smelted down by next episode. Two episodes from now, it'll probably be all smelted down. So now we are going to throw it in with our other ruby over here. And make ourselves some chrome dust. I'm going to go get the rest of the chrome out of here and pan foul it requires aluminium and refined iron so three Refined iron. We have, which is very rare, and then aluminum, three of that, and then if we jump over here, we take our chrome. Smelt that down. Run over here. Empty the cell while it's smelting. Or cells. Throw those back in the electrolyzer. Check back here in the blast furnace. And just wait for this to go. So for tungsten, I need two thousand five hundred Kelvin. We're at two thousand Kelvin right now. What just happened to that ruby? Oh, 
that ruby chrome. So now we jump downstairs for a rolling machine. Come on. Oh. Apparently I didn't need to get all that stuff out. So it looks like I did that for me earlier. I don't think I'll have any use for can style things. Later. So basically I'll just have some extra coils in the system. I know with the uh, upper nickel, you can use it for the alloy smelter up there, which I did use it for. Because you use a, you use three, I believe, no, four for the blast burst. I'll, I'll check on that right now. Last furnace. Yes, you use four, so that means you have to make this recipe three times. It's always very exciting. The next thing we would make is the chrome. It requires nickel. And one chrome, so this would be rather cheap. So we need four chrome to make it in total, and then ferrous, or nickel, whatever I have in the AE. Are you done yet? Yes, you are. Now I'll just go grab some canthal. Is this all the canthal I have? I'm almost certain that is not. Um... This is concerning. Oh! I think I put them in here. Worried for a second there that I didn't have them. And that would have just been a catastrophe. As I'd have to do this for a bit longer. And let's see just how much that increased our temperature. Just enough to make tungsten. Woohoo. Yes, just enough. So we're gonna put some of our massive amount of tungsten in there. Throw a whole stack in there. And melt it down for who knows how long. Probably gonna draw a lot of power. I'm happy I'm not still using plain out nuclear for this. That would be... Well, I'd be here forever. Probably have a reactor before I'd be done if... A fusion reactor, not another nuclear reactor. I don't need another one. Well, I could probably make a reactor chamber. My design really isn't the best design out there. But it was best at the time, since uranium is quite rare early game. Of course, now I've got a quarry that I can use to get it. What is this? Sulfur. I don't have any use for that. Now, I was going to go down here. Move my quarry wall that uranium's processing. I feel that we got a lot done today in this episode. 
So I'll move that quarry. Show you what you do with that dust. Then I'll probably end the episode. If I don't fall down these random holes. And that was very, very, very close. And I'm not quite sure what's that water over there. It looks like it should be flowing in here. Knowing what usually happens, I'll probably be kicked from my server from flo floating to the water. Alright, so my end up with this over here. We'll move it, just not in this episode. Here, I'll probably do that off camera. You guys can tell me if you want me to keep showing what I'm doing in the mining world. Next episode, I'll either work on the AE system or work on Tezzerax. Actually, I think that's going to be a future episode. Next episode, I'll work on M in the AE system. Probably after that, <clears throat> I will be working on. Oh, probably. Uh. Now I completely forgot. Ezrak. We'll go check on our, our uranium up there. Just been grinding down. Oh, we went and ran to that world. So we take this uranium. And we put it in our centrifuge with four cells. I'll have to take from over here in the electrolyzer. And basically, that will centrifuge down into four cells of uranium, three thorium, I believe, a tiny pile of plutonium, and then some tungsten, I believe. Well, that pretty much covers it for this episode. We're now making ourselves tungsten over here. And we're making ourselves some thorium. I know I said at the beginning of the episode we'd work on ME, but I didn't notice how much UU matter I made. So I wanted to get tungsten done. Probably after this. I'm not even sure if I'll do ME next episode, I'll probably try to make superconductors, or at least start making superconductors next episode, because I really want to get a Dragon Egg energy s system going for the Matter Fab. But, please hit that subscribe button, because the more subscribers we have here at Bob's Pot 2, the more motivated we are to get out more episodes to you. And the more episodes we get out to you, the more happier you are. <laughs> but until the next episode, this is Bob's Pot 2, signing out.